The first step in building a genome reference is to get the right file. So in this case, we're going to be doing RNA-seq using human samples. So if you're using something other than human, you would have to make sure to go to the correct files. And in this case, I'm using Ensemble. There are other databases, but Ensemble's definitely one of the best. It should be your go-to if you don't really know what you're doing. So first of all, let's download the actual sequence file. So we'll just go to this link here. And we want the soft masked uh, primary assembly. So here we see DNA SM for soft mask. So there are multiple ways you could download this, but what I'm gonna do is just copy the link address and then use wgit on my Linux server and just paste the um, the link in there. So we'll download that. This will take a few minutes. All right, now that that's finished, we need one more file still. So let's go back. And then we need the gene annotation file. So we go to this download GTF link here. And we want this one on the bottom without the CHR, just the regular GTF file here. So we'll do the same thing where we copy the link address and we wget. And this should be a little quicker this time. All right, so we're ready to start building the index file. Um, but first, if you don't have star already installed in your computer, I'm gonna show you how to do it with Conda, which is by far probably the easiest way to install star and a lot of other bioinformatics programs. So you can just Google Conda install star and it'll come up with the Anaconda page here. So we can just copy this. Um, this work does require you having an already installed mini Conda or Conda environment. Um, so we can just paste this in here. Now that we have both of the files we need and the um, star package installed, we can start building the genome index. So we see both of these files are zipped. So first, let's unzip them. So star is gonna make several output files. So let's make a new directory to keep everything organized. All right, so let's actually make the index file. Genome generate. And then we can specify the path to the directory we just made. So genome directory, and then the path is just ref. And then we can point to the files we downloaded. Genome, FASTA files. And then that's just the Sapiens DNA. And then the path to the annotation file. So next we can specify the number of threads. This will speed up the process quite significantly if you have multiple CPUs available. So run thread n. Uh, my server has 24 cores, so I'm just gonna put 16. And these are the very basic options. If you want to get a little more advanced with your genome index, you can go online and look up the star manual. Oops, looks like I put a capital R in there. I'll just have to fix that. And it will start creating the, the genome files. And this will take um, maybe 30 minutes or so with 16 threads.